Kingdoms and Castles. That's the game I'm playing today. This is the second episode in my Season 1 Let's Play of Kingdoms and Castles. And if you aren't subscribed and watch my videos frequently, it would be very appreciative of for me if you were to subscribe so you don't miss another so you don't miss my next upload and liking and subscribing helps me out a lot. So thank you if you already are subscribed and don't forget to like the video. Now, last episode we started building this cottage and started expanding up this way for our farm. So today what I want to do is keep expanding our population and chop down a bunch of these trees so I can get access to all this farmland and maybe start another quarry right here but to start out with what I think I'm going to do is chop down some of these trees so I can have some more farmland and I think I might want to turn this into farmland well, that's fresh. This is fresh water. No, wait. Never mind. I think I'll just keep this as farmland for now. But in the future, I might have to make this area of farming. Maybe some of this, but this area will probably all be housing some industry over here, maybe. And I don't. This is pretty far away, so I don't have a plan for what I'm going to do over here. Are these trees getting chopped? They are. I'm going to speed it up a little bit, so you don't have to watch them getting chopped down pretty slowly. And I don't know if I should make some more... Okay, not everybody has access to food, so I think I'll make... I'll make two more farms right there. Okay, and I want to see how much grain we lose to exposure. Because I might need to make a granary right there. If we lose any, any uh, grain. So we'll just have to wait and see throughout the winter. Um, we need to build another house, but I don't know where I should build it. Because this area is like closed off for other buildings, like library here and a great wall. A great hall, chamber of war. And stuff like that. I want to build a, a fire history to make sure you to build wells. No, the fire! No, the town square is on fire! I might... Make that the thumbnail. Yeah, I think I'm gonna make that the thumbnail. Sorry, I just got rid of it. Okay, save the screenshot. Sorry, that took a while. doesn't get put out, I think we'll build another well here. Actually, you know what, I'll just build another well there anyway. I'm gonna need to, because I'm gonna start putting some houses down over here. I'll put it like right, right there. I think that's a good spot. Well, we have a pretty big surplus of food, so I think I'll... Yeah, you know what, I think I'll make a tavern, because who doesn't like a tavern right next to the town square? It'll probably increase the happiness. And it should... Use up some food that we don't need. Okay. We don't really have a lot of grain left over from the harvest, so I think I'll make another row of farms, or another group of farms here. Like so. And then we'll build a house. I think I'll... Extend the road like this. This is a good spot for a man. I don't know. I think I just need to get a uh, a treasure room so I can start taxing them, so I can start building manors and stuff. But I think I'll also extend the road up like this. And since they can't build a manor right here, I think I'll build a cottage right there. Like this. And a cottage like that. And if that doesn't have road access, then I'll add a road there. Let's speed things up. 
and I would like to recommend you to tell you again that if you aren't subscribed or haven't liked the video yet and you watch this video this far, I would recommend subscribing so you don't mix, miss my next upload. Is the tavern working? Almost, it's almost finished being built. And I think because happiness is going to be pretty important to attracting new residents, I'll probably make bartenders and viewers pretty high up on the job priority. Not as important as builders. Yeah, see, we just need more people. Because you've got a massive influx of food. Yeah, we just need more people. Which is why I'm not going to build anything more after these cottages are finished being built. Yeah, thunderstorm. Okay, now it's nice. Um, are these almost being finished being built? They each have max amount of workers, but the people are... Why aren't the people happy? They have a tavern, a town square... Oh, they will probably want charcoal. You know what? Um, I think I should make a charcoal maker over here. Because I think I'll make this industry. I'll make this area industry. So I think I'll put a well, and then a charcoal maker. Yeah, I'll get people a bit happier. You see, they, they want charcoal. And it actually makes the happiness down here, because they'll be much happier if they have charcoal. Yeah, I don't think not having charcoal affects the hobbits. Because it says wants access to charcoal, but they don't have any negative effects. But still, it is good to have charcoal. It still increases the happiness. Hmm. It took too long to start a harvest. Hmm. Good day. Hmm. Okay, well, if it's taking too long to store our harvest, then I think I'll have to make a green after we get our quarries working again. Alright, now everybody is tied up working on these cottages. These roads actually look really good, but that's probably just because I have the pretty roads mod installed, because they added mod support to games and castles recently. So, I'm using the Pretty Roads mod, if you were wondering. City is expanding pretty good, but I think we need to get a treasure room, and then maybe some defenses. Because the Vikings will be attacking pretty soon. Maybe. Yeah, I think I'll save up some stone. I think I'll make a second quarry. No, no, I'll, I'll wait for more builders to be available after these are finished. What do my advice have to say? Air culture. Hmm. Sorry, it took too long on Star Harvest. Yeah, that's why I'm going to build a greener. Is this full? Yes, it is full, so maybe I should also build another produce storage. I don't know. Yeah, I think I'll build another produce storage. And granary eventually after I get a charcoal maker and a quarry. After these two cottages are finished, come on, we're almost there. This house, this house is done, and that house is done. And yep, now there's jobs. Quarry worker is more important than bartenders, I think. City for okay, we don't need to worry about food, we just need to wait for people to get here. Okay. Now I can put down the forester. And just wait for the population to increase. Agriculture. Hmm. Sorry, it took lunch to start harvest. Yeah. I think I'll save up for I think I just need a nah. I think it's better to just save up for a large green leaf. I think eventually I'll put manor here, in this area, manor here in this area, then maybe like a library or market here, and then a cottage there maybe, and maybe a church like right here. I think that seems like a good idea.
also think I should build up some defenses. In case the Vikings do come. Okay, island, island, my lords. Life is good, our kingdom attracted seven new people. Okay, that, that's actually pretty good. Hey, and these- how do they have charcoal? I don't have any charcoal makers, oh, oh well. What? I shouldn't complain. They're not complaining. It's probably a good sign. And a charcoal maker right there, and the people should start to get some charcoal. Happiness should go up, more people should come to live here, and we should be the our kingdom even faster. Mm. Sorry, it took too long to store a harvest. Someone was ruined by what you're growing paths to grain and so No, I think it's just because we don't have any space. Because we have more farms, like than we need right now, which I think is, it isn't a problem, but, you know, we might as well just leave a little food for the rest to eat. We don't need all that food, but I'm not gonna waste my stone on another green room, when I could instead build up some defenses. <laughs> what happened to saving up for a treasure room and green room? I don't know, they just went away. Not as important anymore. So one of our peasants has unfortunately drowned. Oh, that's not good. We don't have to build a... I really hope you don't have to build a... A graveyard. Also, I think you should be able to put, like... Archer towers and blisters on top of this. It just looks like there should. I mean, you can't, but it looks like it should. So I think it's time we make another... Forester. Okay, the extent of the radius goes all the way to the quarry, so what I could do is make a road extend this way. Get some more wood that way. And the quarries are still working, so I should almost have enough to build a treasure room. This is a peaceful little area with a cottage, a well. Yeah, it, it does have rope access, that's good. Nice tavern here. Town square. This is a nice little area of the kingdom so far. Okay, this is almost done. I can almost build some roads now. Build it right there. Wait for this to be chopped. Build some more roads out this way. I'll make it right there. That's one right there, so then I'll chop the trees in this row. Make the road go to it, to there, chop that, then put another forester right there. And this is also working, so this is going great. Hmm. So I took some star harvest. Yeah, that is a problem, but not that big of a problem. Getting some charcoal, happiness should go up a little bit. Come on, we almost have enough for a treasure room. We need 50. Okay, by the end of this year, we should have enough. Or by the end of next year in game, we should have enough to finish off this tower and make a treasure room. This is good. Our kingdom is growing fast. Well, it's not growing that fast, but it is helpful. Or, it's not helpful, I don't know what I'm saying. It is growing effectively, I guess. That's what I'm trying to say. Okay, that's done. Then I think it would be safe to add a second... Or, right, this would be a charcoal maker row here. Because there's a well right there in case it's on fire. I think I'll chop down these two set of trees here and put down two char more charcoal makers. So that we can actually make enough charcoal for people to... Because I don't think anyone here actually has charcoal. Oh, these, these people have charcoal. This is the only house with charcoal. This is the happiest house here. Hmm. Agriculture. Sorry, it took too long to store our house. Some of it was ruined by the window. Improving paths to granaries would help. We don't... Yeah, we don't need that.
Okay, wait, we have enough. We have enough. We have enough to build a treasure room. Perfect. Boom. And our keep looks a lot better now. Okay, get upgraded. And now it's also time, I think, to put the two more charcoal makers down. I, I thought I ordered you to chop down this tree. Oh wow, population is maxed out. Um, I think I'll save up for another cottage to put down here. And maybe a market there in the future. A market or a library, I don't know. There we go, people are happy. 75, that's good. Um, but when we start taxing people, the people will become less happy. We don't have anything to build anything. Okay, we just have to wait. As we wait, well, when you speed it up, resources come in, like, really quickly. Uh, yes, now I can put that there. Charcoal, oh, they, they were working again. Okay, they'll work after that's done, then they'll have enough employees. Run, run little guys. <laughs> they run like ants, they look like ants when they're running all fast. Bartender, see, saw fairy ones. I don't think there are fairies on this island. I don't know. You know, he's probably just crazy. Yeah, probably just John. He's crazy. It's working. Yes, and the treasury is working. It doesn't have any employees yet, but that's gonna change right now when I make it the most important job. And I think I should also make stock level workers like there. Perfect. Okay, then I should raise the taxes to 5%. And then I guess as high as I can. Okay. What do the advisor have to say? Air culture. Mm. It's like too long to store harvest. Yeah. But we have a lot of food. I don't think it's really a problem. Yeah, everybody has access to wheat and fruit. No fish or pork, but it costs money, I think, to get a fishing hut and a swine herd. I don't think it's time to get fish or pigs yet. I'll save up two stone, build another cottage. I'll also should probably save up some gold for an archer tower. But first, put down a cottage right there. It's a good spot. And two manors here, eventually. Hopefully the next building I get is a manor. Because manors can store 25 people. And take up the same amount of space as two cottages, and one cottage stores up to 24 people, so it's it's worth the space that it takes up. Manors are worth the space that it takes up for the population that they get. Work, people are working in the fields, so that's good. Apples are growing in the trees, the produce storage is overflowing. Charcoals are... Okay, well this one's not working, but it will. Once we get a population boost. And it's almost time to get an archer tower. Oh. What's cheaper, an archer tower or a man? Okay, an archer tower. I'll get an archer tower first. And despite the 5% taxes, they're still pretty happy. Overall. Got a bunch of food saved up. Everyone has access to it. There's even spare charcoal. Not anymore, the charcoal's gone. But I think I'll make two more charcoal makers right there. And that was eight people visited. Our kingdom is full. Yeah, that's why I'm building this cottage. Oh, we lost a bunch of food. Okay, I, I think it is time to build a... Oh, granaries are so expensive. Oh, what's so important? A granary or a archer tower? Yes, a granary or archer tower. If you've watched it this far, please comment down below which one you think I should build first. An archer tower to protect the treasury or a granary to protect the grain. Which one should I build first? If you have an idea, say in the comments. 
And thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. It helps me out a ton. And goodbye. See you next time.